Good morning, South Florida. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Here's a look at some of your morning headlines. Police in Davie were caught to a domestic disturbance that turned into a shooting. The incident took place near the Park City West Mobile Home Park. Investigators say a suspect fired shots at an unoccupied vehicle. When police arrived, shots were exchanged between the suspect and police. The suspect was hit, but we're told that person is expected to be okay. The details of the disturbance are unclear. FDLE is investigating. A group of gun violence activists and community leaders paired with local law enforcement to march against the recent spike in gun violence. Among those in the crowd were mothers that have lost their own children to gun violence. Recently in South Florida, more than 20 were injured and three killed in a mass shooting at El Mula Banquet Hall. In Royal Palm Beach, a gunman opened fire on a grandmother and her one-year-old grandson. At their summit in Geneva, Switzerland, President Biden warned Russian President Vladimir Putin that cyber attacks on the U.S. would come with consequences. The two leaders also discussed a number of issues, including arms control and human rights, and they agreed to return their nation's ambassadors to their foreign posts. China has successfully launched a spacecraft with three astronauts to part of the space station still under construction. This will be the longest day in low Earth orbit by any Chinese national. The rocket blasted off at around 9.30 a.m. Beijing time as part of the third of 11 missions needed to complete China's first full-fledged space station. The astronauts will work on the space station for the next three months. And that's a look at some of your morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon and get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.